And there he goes in the other direction. I have frets, that's not fair. Uh, <laughs> so anyways, so the Irish, being the green SOBs that they are, recycled all the old whiskey barrels that they were draining one by one. And they were taking apples, which didn't need to go at all to the war effort, and turning that into cider, you know, just to get by. Because, I mean, we've all had it. Potato vodka only gives me anything. I mean, you know? He's not Irish. Ignore him. Now, the thing is, when you make all of this, the ciders out of these old recycled uh, uh, whiskey barrels there that have been used for generations to make whiskey, you get cider that's 180 proof. Right? Imagine doing a shot of that, right? They weren't doing shots, they were doing pints of that. They had no clue. They're coming in from a hot day in the fields and everything going, Oh, cider, that sounds refreshing. Yeah, crack me one of those, I'll put it in the pint glass, yes. Two of those things, and, and most of the Irish are ending up in jail, in the insane asylums, in Australia. <laughs> Mostly Australia. Right, the only place on earth that tries to kill you harder than Texas, Australia. And of course, the name of that magical elixir was called Johnny Jumper. One, two, three, four! His wife took him home for a bloody bay wig. Well, about 12 o'clock, the mirror was high on a corpse. He sits up, says with a sigh, I can't get to heaven. Won't let me up till I bring them a cord of a Johnny Jump up. Oh, never, never, never again will I live to a hundred. And I fell down to the ground. Can't get back up till I bring them a cord of a Johnny Jump up. Oh, never, never, never again will I live to a hundred. 
Johnny jump up. 